And it's so easy to get depressed and feel hopeless, but I think that's been true for every big convulsive social change. I mean, abolition of slavery was impossible until it wasn't. Um, the civil rights movement was fighting against such entrenched values in the United States. And then all of a sudden what seems impossible to change is change. You can, out, you can do anything. You can make any arrangements about territory and sovereignty that you want if you really want to do it. I mean, look at America. It's got a military base in Cuba. How could that be? I, I get it. Anti-Semitism is real and rising. And, you know, there are tremendous defamations of Israel all the time. And, you know, Europe is particularly um, disgraceful in this regard. But that's not what this is. You know, this is, this is a discussion from a place of love and, and wanting to see Israel survive because, let's face it, when there was no Jewish state, it didn't work <laughs> out so well for the Jewish people. So we need Israel. And, but I think that there's more than one way to love Israel, more than one way to support it.